What's going on summoners? My name is Nathan Ng and I'll be your host for this video. If you're new to our channel, this is our Korean build series, this time covering patch 12.16. We're going to be going over the latest adjustments players have been making and provide you guys with a comprehensive list of new or updated builds for all roles. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content like this and let's get started. Starting with the top lane, we have a new build coming up for Diana. Tankier builds have been gaining popularity as they allow Diana to do her thing, but with a lot less risk. Yes, she's still going to deal a ridiculous amount of damage and still get close to one-shotting one of your carries. This build is difficult to play against because it honestly feels like there's no counterplay. Even if you try to focus her down, there are going to be other enemy players that this takes pressure away from. Ultimately, it's a hybrid tank build that allows Diana to act as a secondary or, under certain circumstances, the main frontliner for her team. Even though her tank build is getting nerfed, it's tanky enough to compete with the other tanks in the top lane. For runes, say Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Legend of Alacrity, Last Stand, Second Wind, Unflinching, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. Next, we have a build for Gwen. Players have made some recent adjustments to her build, increasing her auto attack damage significantly. It adds onto her already high on hit damage, while also providing her with some extra durability by throwing in a wit's end. That being said, her runes are Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Legend of Alacrity, Last Stand, Second Wind, Unflinching, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. For her items, build Riftmaker, Defensive Boots, Nasher's Tooth, Wit's End, Zion's Hourglass, and Void Staff. Wit's End's value increases as the game drags on. The damage increases, but the extra magic resistance it provides becomes crucial in the later parts of the game. Before moving forward with the video, I do want to mention that we have some incredible coaches over at ProGuides.com. Our staff has helped hundreds of students rank up and achieve their season's goal. No matter what role or champion you play, we have specialists who can help you out and discover the next steps to leveling up your gameplay. Check it out and let's continue on with the video. We've wrapped our top lane build, so let's take a look at the screen for a recap of those builds. Next up, let's run through the jungle. In the jungle, we'll start with the build for Viego. A bruiser build is becoming more and more common, paired with taking summoner ghosts instead of flash. The extra movement speed allows him to chase down foes, weave in more auto attacks, and as a result boosts his DPS. With some added durability, he's quite difficult to take out, especially once he manages to get his first takedown with his ultimate during a team fight. For runes, say Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear, Cosmic Insight, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. The items are Sunfire Aegis, Blade of the Rune King, Defensive Boots, Death Stance, Wit's End, and Guardian Angel. Sunfire is very strong on Viego for the tenacity that it grants him, giving him opportunities to slip into the shadows mid-fight and wait for another chance to strike. He's also able to clutch out fights as enemies fall and he possesses them. Next is a build for Nocturne. The trend of assassins opting to go bruiser itemization continues. I'll note that with this popular build, players most likely take Ignite for that extra burst damage. He usually doesn't have issues closing the gap with his ultimate, and in cases where he's trying to gank without it, it's best to go for an overextended enemy or counter gank regardless. That's where the extra damage and healing reduction really come into play. For his runes, say Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Sand, Magical Footwear, Cosmic Insight, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune. For items, Bill Frostfire Gauntlet, Blade of the Rune King, Defensive Boots, Wit's End, Death's Dance, and Guardian Angel. You want to build Frostfire Gauntlet for the slow, as it'll make it easier to follow up with the sphere and also allow you to fit in more auto attacks. That covers the jungle, so let's talk about some mid laners. For mid laners, we're actually featuring two marksmen, but with very different approaches for the new patch. First on our agenda is Trisana, who takes a more burst heavy loadout, which makes sense especially in the mid lane. This build isn't exactly a lethality build, but it does utilize it closer to the raw stats that it provides, incorporating a lot of AD and straying from the dependence on crit chance. For runes, take Halo Blades, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Relentless Hunter, Mana Flow Band, Absolute Focus, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. Her items are Eclipse, Berserker's Greaves, Mana Immune, Blade of the Rune King, Sorelda's Grudge, and Guardian Angel. With these items, you're going to deal a solid amount of damage and you won't need a lucky crit to consistently shred through squishies. Combining Muramana with Blade of the Rune King, with some solid AD and armor penetration, Trasana can use Halo Blades to almost instantly take out enemy carries. Next in the mid lane, we're featuring another AP Varus build. We had one last patch, but this one is a little bit different in both playstyle and loadout. First, you'll take First Strike, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Taste of Blood, Relentless Hunter, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune. With First Strike, you'll aim to quickly farm up, hit those crucial item power spikes, and start dominating fights. The Keystone will also add some extra burst damage that you can't take for granted. With Teleport, you're able to recall during dangerous situations for a reset, and also pick up item spikes faster than your opponents. By healing at the base, you also have the opportunity to apply pressure on the enemies who haven't had Teleport for themselves, as they'll likely be running low on health and or mana. 
For items, build Ludens Tempest, Sorcerer's Shoes, Man Immune, Rabadon's Death Cap, Void Staff, and Cosmic Drive. Ultimately, you're getting a massive burst out of this setup, with a bit of physical damage in there as well. The AD for Man Immune ensures that you're able to deal solid poke damage from afar. However, the big damage comes from when you land your ultimate, max out your W stacks on an enemy, and cash out with a huge combination of First Strike and the AP that you've built. This is also a good chance for me to ask you a question of the day. Do you want to see more diversity in champion picks for the bottom lane? We're seeing some marksmen go mid, but I'd definitely like to see more creativity from players and see if we can actually find more archetypes like tanks head into the bottom lane. Let me know your answers in the comments down below and let's finish up with the video. That covers the mid lane, so we'll put the builds up on the screen for you all. Make sure you take a look and let's head into the bottom lane next. For the bottom lane, our first build is for Kai'Sa. Note that many players have started to run Exhaust on her, allowing the rest of her teammates to play more freely. Exhaust alongside her E and Ultimate give her plenty of space to outplay divers without the need of assistance. Her runes are Halo Blades, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Biscuit Delivery, Magical Footwear, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. For items, build Kraken Slayer, Berserker's Greaves, Wits and or Blade of the Rune King, Nasher's Tooth, Bloodthirster, and GA. This build is focused heavily on attack speed, utilizing the on-hit damage from Nashers, Kraken Slayer, and either Wits and or Blade. With the additional attack speed that she gains from her E, Kai'Sa can act as more of a standard marksman, dishing out some insane DPS. The best part is that it's mixed damage, making it harder for enemies to itemize against her. For supports, we're starting to see Zoe picked more. She has a great poke support who can take advantage of the alcoves to not only be annoying, but also apply plenty of pressure on her foes. She's also great for skirmishes that break out in the river, as she's able to snipe enemies using the terrain around her for her setups. Finally, we have a bot lane combo to go over. Thematically matching, we've got Ash and Sidrani representing the Frel Lord. These two paired together are pretty obnoxious to play against. The amount of CC that they bring to the table is insane, and when the enemy team isn't running cleanse, ganks are almost always guaranteed to work. With so much stun lock available to them as well as slows, it's even possible for them to initiate the fight before their own teammate are within vision of the enemy wards. As the game progresses, they prove to be invaluable for their team, providing some immense team fighting utility. For Azure's setup, take Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Legend Bloodline, Cut Down, Biscuit Delivery, Approach Velocity, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. Her items are Kraken Slayer, Berserker's Greaves, Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, Blade of the Rune King, and Lord Dominic's Regards. In Sejuani's case, take the Rune's Glacial Augment, Perfect Timing, Future's Market, Cosmic Insight, Cheap Shot, Ultimate Hunter, Attack Speed, Armor, and Magic Resistance. I'd advise following this build and not deviating from it. Glacial Augment is so good on her, especially when this bottom lane is more focused on utility. The damage output will be a bit lower than average. With damage reduction, it should allow you to buy a lot more time for teammates, and of course, it'll be even more valuable later on into the game. Perfect timing can easily be underappreciated, as this item will allow Sejuani to initiate an aggressive dive a bit later on into the game. For your items, build Luck of the Iron Solari, Ionian Boost of Lucidity, Zanya's Hourglass, Force of Nature, and Frozen Heart. That's it for the bot lane build, so we'll throw up the builds on the screen. And that concludes our Korean builds for patch 12.16. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and like always, feel free to let us know if you have any thoughts or feedback. Take care everybody, and you know the drill. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.